Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the part of the world where we are today. Today is day 7 of the RCCG 2022 Mid-Year Prayer and Fasting. And today our prayer is focused on individual revival, praying for revival. And I believe the Lord will revive us in Jesus' name. From every form of lukewarmness, from every form of coldness, spiritual slumber, I trust that the Lord will revive us and help us to go back to our place of first love with Him. The way we were vibrant for him, the way we were dedicated to him, the way that our love for him was so strong when we first knew him. I pray the Lord will take us back to that place and help us to keep growing as our fire keep burning for him in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, the first Bible text we're going to read is in Psalm 85, verse 6 to 7. Psalm 85, verse 6 to 7 is a question the psalmist was asking God. He says, Will thou not revive us again, that thy people may rejoice in thee? Show us thy mercy, O Lord, and grant us thy salvation. He says, won't you revive us again so that your people may rejoice in you? So we are asking the Lord, Father, revive us again. King David said, restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. Restore unto me. Salvation, revival brings joy, brings rejoicing. So that's why we're asking the Lord today to revive us as individuals. And I pray the Lord will do so in Jesus' name. The Lord will show us his mercy and grant us his salvation in Jesus' name. Matthew 11 verse 12, Jesus was telling his disciples, he says, And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. We can't say we are working for God and we're just doing it as we want, you know. Not just going with the tide. We have to be on fire for God. We have to turn things around. They said of the disciples, oh, these are the guys that turn the world upside down. We can't say we are on fire for God and things are just going like that. No, our fire has to be very hot. It has to touch those around us. It has to have impact on those around us. I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. I want us to first thank the Lord for the grace he has given us to come to his presence once again. For the grace he has given us to wait upon him at this time. Father, we give you all the glory. We give you praise. We give you thanks. We say you are worthy of all praises. Father, we love you. Father, we exalt your majesty. We are grateful for giving us the grace to come to your presence today. Father, we worship you. Lord, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. Glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God, we bow before your throne. Bow before your throne. Worship at your feet. Bow before your throne. You are the glorious God. We bow before your throne, worship at your feet, bow before your throne. You are the glorious God. Father, we worship you for the grace you have given us to come to your presence once again. Be thou exalted, Father. In Jesus' name we worship. Amen. In Genesis 1.26, then God said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. The reason why the Lord created us is for us to be like him, for us to be a mirror image of him. When they see us, just like they call the disciples Christians at Antioch, God wants people to see us and say, This are children of God. This person is acting in a God-like manner. So we're going to pray. Father, we thank you for creating me in your image and likeness. He did not create us just in the image of other animals. He created us in his image and his likeness. Father, we thank you for creating me in your image and your likeness. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory, Lord, for creating us in your image and your likeness, for creating us to have the kind of mind like you, to have the kind of image like you, to be able to walk in your full state. Thank you, Lord, for creating us in your image and your likeness. Thank you, Lord, for creating us to have dominion over all the creeping things, over the things of the earth. Thank you, Lord, for creating us in your image, to be able to create other things as well. Father, we appreciate you. We give you the glory, honor, and adoration. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be thy name, Father. In Jesus' name, we've prayed. Psalm 107, verse 1 to 2 says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, 
for his good, for his mercies and just forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Father, we thank you for your grace and mercy that I enjoy every day. Every day, morning by morning, new mercies we receive. Thank you, Lord. Father, we appreciate you for the grace and your mercy we have been receiving every day of our life. Father, you've been faithful. You've been faithful, too faithful to fail us. Oh, Father, we appreciate you. When we sleep, we enjoy your mercy. When we wake up, we enjoy your mercy. When we are going out, we enjoy your mercy. When we are in the car, we enjoy your mercy. In all we do, your mercy has kept us. You have protected us. You have shielded us from all evil. Oh, Father, we are grateful. We bless your name. Lord, we give you the glory. We give you the honor. We say you are worthy. There is none like you, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for your faithful Father. All glory, honor, and adoration belong to you. For in Jesus' name we've prayed. In Jeremiah 29, 11, God says, I know the thought I have towards you, says the Lord thought of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Nobody can tell you this is what God has for you. This is the plan of God for you. I know my thought for you. Nobody can read my mind and say, this is what I'm thinking. No, the only person that can know my mind is God. So God is saying, I know my own thought for you. I know my own plan for you. And that plan is of good. It does not contain evil. Let's say, Father, thank you for your good thoughts towards me. Thank you for your good thoughts towards my family. Thank you for your good thoughts towards me always. Father, I thank you. Because even when we think we have good thoughts towards us, God knows the best things for us. Thank you, Jesus, for your good thoughts towards us. Father, we appreciate you. We give you the glory. We give you the honor, the adoration. We give you all the praises. Father, we say you are worthy. Thank you, Father, Father for your good thoughts towards me. Thank you for your good thoughts towards your church. Thank you for your good thoughts towards our family. Thank you for your good thoughts towards all that pertains to us. Father, we appreciate you. We give you the glory, honor, and adoration. Be thou exalted in Jesus' name. Many of us make decisions and we believe or sometimes we assume based on the information we have. This is how it's going to end. This is my plan. This is my thought. This is my plan for my children. This is my plan for my family and my future. Unfortunately, we are disappointed because what we thought would happen may not happen at the end of the day. But we have a God that knows the end from the beginning. So when God says, I know my thoughts for you, sometimes when God tells us to do something, it doesn't sound wise. It doesn't sound like it makes sense. But the truth about it is that it's only God that knows the best. So when he says, I know the thought that I think towards you, I know my plan for you. All we need to do is, yes, Lord, Father, give me the grace to walk in this. So we're going to say, thank you, Father, for your good thought and plan towards me, for your good thought and plan towards my family, because they are thought of good and not of evil. Thank you for the future and the hope you have planned for me. Thank you for the future and the hope you have planned for my family. Thank you for your future and the hope you have planned for my children. Father, we appreciate you. We exalt your majesty for your faithful God. Be thou lifted I, for in Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Thank you for the salvation of my soul. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. There was a payment. There was a ransom to be paid to rescue our life from perdition, from eternal death. And God says, I'm ready to pay that price. That price was the life of Jesus Christ. And he paid it for us. He paid it for us. He bought our salvation with the blood of his own son. We're going to say, Father, thank you for the salvation of my soul. I don't know where I would have been if he had not rescued me. I don't know where I would have been if I didn't have a relationship with Jesus. I don't know where I would have been the devil will have scattered my life. I would have been living under the guilt of sin. But the Lord rescued me. He gave his only begotten son to die for me. Without the death of Jesus, I would have been looking for money to buy ram. I would have been looking for money to make sacrifice of sin. Father, but you died for me. Once and for all, you pay the sacrifice of sin. Father, I bless you. Thank you, Jesus, for you are a faithful God. Thank you, Jesus, for sacrificing yourself for us. Thank you, God, for giving your son to die for our sins. Father, we appreciate you. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. No. Blessed be thy name, Lord, for in Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Psalm 51 verse 1 to 2 says, Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. We're going to pray. Father, have mercy on me and wash away all my sins in the name of Jesus. Father, I plead for your mercy, Lord. I plead for your mercy today. Father, have mercy on me, O Lord, and wash away every of my iniquities. Have mercy on me, O Lord, and wash away every of my sins. Have mercy on me, O Lord, and wash away all my sins. Father, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me, Lord. Father, show me mercy. Show my family mercy. Show my family mercy and have mercy on us. He in the name of Jesus and forgive our sins and forgive us our sins. Blot out our transgressions in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, blot out our transgressions. Father, forgive our sins in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we've prayed. God says, I am he that forgives your sin and blot out your iniquities and I will remember it no more. 
We're going to say, Father, thank you for the forgiveness I've received from you. Thank you for taking away my sins. Thank you for taking away all my sins. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I give you all the glory, all the honor. Blessed be thy name, Father. For in Jesus' name we pray. Lamentations 3 verse 37 says, Who is he who speaks and it comes to pass when the Lord has not commanded it? It's a question. Who is he that can speak when the Lord has not commanded it? No one. No one can speak and it will come to pass when the Lord has not commanded it. So we're going to say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I reject every evil judgment, every evil words, every negative pronouncement over my life, my career, my business, my family and destiny in the name of Jesus. Every word that has not been spoken by you, every evil word, evil pronouncement, evil judgment that has been spoken, every evil prophecy that has been spoken against my life, against my family, I reject it today in the name of Jesus. Every evil word, every evil pronouncement that is preventing me from standing in you that is preventing me from fulfilling my destiny i cancel them today with the blood of jesus because according to your word in lamentations 3 37 he says he who is he who speaks and it comes to pass when the lord has not commanded it every word you have not commanded every judgment that does not come from you every pronouncement that does not come from you father that is having any impact on my life i cancel them today with the blood of jesus i cancel them today with the blood of jesus i cancel them today with the blood of jesus i cancel them today with the blood of jesus father every word negative Negative word, negative word, negative pronouncement, negative prophecies, negative dreams against my life, against my children, against my family. I cancel them today by the mercy of the Lord. I cancel them today with the blood of Jesus. I cancel them today with the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus against every evil pronouncement, evil judgment, evil word, evil dreams, evil visions against my life, against my destiny. I cancel them by the blood of Jesus. I cancel them by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 43 verse 18 to 19 says, Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. It says, Behold, look, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. We're going to pray. Oh Lord, give me a miracle. Arise, give me a miracle that will make me forget my past troubles in Jesus' name. You have said in your word. It says, do not remember the former thing. Forget the things that has happened in the past. Because while you are looking at the past, you are not looking at the things I'm doing now. It says, behold, look, open your eyes and look. I will do a new thing. Shall you not know it? Now it shall spring forth. We're going to pray, Father arise Lord give me a miracle that will make me forget my past troubles in the name of Jesus Lord father help me walk in the miracles Lord that will make me forget my past troubles in the name of Jesus help me walk in the miracles the new things that you have done that will make me forget my past troubles in the name of Jesus father help me to walk Lord in the miracles in the things you have done the new things that you have done that will make me forget my past troubles I receive the grace I receive the power I receive the courage to begin to walk in them in the new things you have done in the name of Jesus to begin to walk in in the miracles you have done that will make me forget my past troubles. I begin to walk in them. In the name of Jesus, I begin to walk in them. In the name of Jesus, I begin to walk in the miracles, in the new things that will make me forget my past troubles. That will make me forget my past experiences. That will make me forget my past sadness. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Nehemiah chapter 2 verse 10. When Nehemiah got the vision to go and rebuild the wall of Jerusalem, the Bible says, when Sambalat the Oronite and Tobiah the Ammonite, official head of it, they were deeply disturbed that a man had come to seek the well-being of the children of Israel. Hmm. The reason why these people started fighting against the ministry of building the wall of Jerusalem was not because there was anything that has to do with them. The Bible says they were angry that somebody came to seek the well-being of the children of Israel. How many of us has somebody stood up to help us and someone is saying, don't help them? Because they are just angry because someone is coming to help us. Those are the spirit of Sambalat and Tobiah. We're going to pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, let every power that aids to see me laugh scatter into desolation in the name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, every power that aids to see me laugh, every power that aids to see me break through, every power that is being, that is, that is, that every power, like the spirit of Sambalat and Tobiah, Father, that aids to see me me laugh that it to see helpers of destiny coming around me father scatter them into desolation in the name of jesus scatter them into desolation in the name of jesus just as sambalat and tobiah tried all their best and they could not succeed against nehemiah he was able to build the wall father i decree lord every power lord that wants to see me cry and does not want to see me laugh every power lord that have destined lord that have determined in their heart to make sure i don't succeed in life and they are working against the helpers of my destiny father lord today i come against them 
and I scatter them into desolation. In the name of Jesus, I scatter them into desolation. In the name of Jesus, I decree by your mercy, Lord, that I shall fulfill my destiny. My family shall fulfill their destiny. In the name of Jesus, my family shall fulfill their destiny. In the name of Jesus, my family shall fulfill their destiny. In the name of Jesus, Father, as you disgrace Sambalat and Tobiah in the time of Nehemiah, you will destroy, you will disgrace every, every enemy of our destiny. You will disgrace every enemy of our progress. In the name of Jesus, you will disgrace every enemy of our progress. In the name of Jesus, you will disgrace them. You will pull them down. You will scatter them. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen. Father, release your angels of war to scatter all those plotting against my destiny in the name of Jesus. Father, release your angels of war to scatter all those plotting against my destiny in the name of Jesus, Father. Father, release your angels of war to scatter all those that are plotting against my destiny. Father, release your angels of war to scatter everyone that is plotting against my destiny in the name of Jesus. Father, release your angels of war to scatter all those plotting against my destiny in Jesus' name we pray. Isaiah 54, 15 says, Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. We're going to pray, Father, according to your word in Isaiah 54, verse 15. Father, everyone that has gathered against me. Father, everyone that is plotting against us. Father, scatter them in the name of Jesus. Father, scatter them according to your word in Isaiah 54, 15. Everyone that, scatter, that gathers against us. Everyone that is gathered against us. Wherever it is they are gathered. In the water, in the sea, on the air. Father, we scatter them in the name of Jesus. On the ground, in the sea, in the water water, on the air, wherever it is, they are gathered against me, against my family, against my children. I scatter them in the name of Jesus. I scatter them in the name of Jesus. I scatter them according to your word. In Isaiah 54 verse 15, you said everyone that gathers against me shall be scattered in the name of Jesus. Father, scatter them by your mercy. Scatter them in Jesus' name we've prayed. Oh Lord, help me to identify and deal with any weakness in me that is injuring my progress in the name of Jesus. Any weakness in me that is injuring my progress, that is injuring my spiritual growth. Father, help me, Lord. Open my eyes to identify them and deal with them in the name of Jesus, Father. Help me to deal with them. Help me to identify and deal with all the weakness in me that is preventing me from progressing in life in the name of Jesus. Is it spiritual laziness, spiritual slumber? Is it procrastination? Everything found in me that is preventing me from growing spiritually, physically in my career. Father, help me to identify them and deal with them by your mercy. Help me to identify them, oh Lord, and deal with them by your mercy. Help me to identify them and deal with them by your mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Isaiah 65 verse 21 to 23 it says, they shall build houses and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and eat their fruit. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree, so shall the days of my people. And my elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth children for trouble. For they shall be the descendant of the blessed of the Lord and their offspring with them. Amen. He says, we shall build houses and inhabit them. It means whatever when we plant, we will reap. We will not plant and another reap our harvest. So we're going to pray. Father, release your fire to consume all anti-harvest power working against my efforts to succeed this year in Jesus' name. Father, release your fire to consume all anti-harvest power working against my effort to succeed this year in Jesus' name. Because according to your word in the Isaiah 65, 21 to 23, you have said I will build houses, I will inhabit them. I will plant vineyards, I will eat from my labor. I will eat their fruit in the name of Jesus. I, I consume by fire every anti-harvest power working against my effort, working against against my husband's effort, working against my children's effort. I come against them in the name of Jesus. Every anti harvest power, I come against them in the name of Jesus. I destroy them in the name of Jesus. Every anti harvest power that is working against me, that is preventing me to succeed this year and even enjoy the fruits of my labor, I come against them in the name of Jesus. Every anti harvest power, I come against them in the name of Jesus. I consume them with the fire of the Holy Spirit. Fire of the Holy Spirit. Fire of the Holy Spirit. Every anti harvest power that says I will walk and I will not eat out of the the fruit of my labor. Oh Jesus, I come against them today because your word has said I will build houses. I will live in them. I will plant vineyard. I will eat from their fruit. According to your word Lord. Ah, everyone walking against your dictate for my life. Your pronouncement for my life. And say, I will build houses. I will not live in it. Father, scatter them. Scatter their plan. Consume them totally today. In Jesus name we've prayed. Amen. We're going to pray. Father, arise. 
confused and deal with every power of personality working day and night against my greatness in jesus name you don't need to do anything to some people no matter how good you are no matter how benevolent you are there are some people that the devil has made his seat in their heart and whenever they see you laugh or smile they are angry that it doesn't matter if you are good to them it doesn't matter if you sponsor their children in school they just want to pull you down they want to see us cry we're going to pray father arise confuse and deal with every power or personality working day and night against my greatness in jesus name father arise Lord, confused and deal with every power, every personality, every group of people that are working against my progress, against my children's progress, against my family's progress, against my husband's progress, night and day. They are plotting against us. Father, Lord, scatter them in the name of Jesus. I consume them with the fire of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Father, frustrate their plan, frustrate their plan, frustrate their plan in the name of Jesus. When they plan evil, it shall not work. Just like they planned against Mordecai and it did not work in the name of Jesus. Just like all the plot of Ammon went over his head. The plans he had for Mordecai did not come to pass because God was on his side. Father, because you are on our side, every plan of the evil one to cause us to cry, to cause us to mourn. Father, to cause us not to achieve our destiny, to cause us not to progress and excel in life. Father, we pray by your mercy. We destroy their plan. We destroy their plan. We turn it to naught. In the name of Jesus, we destroy their plan by your mercy. We destroy their plan. In Jesus' name we prayed. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, release into my life secrets to succeed this year in the name of Jesus. Deuteronomy 29, 29 says, The secret things belong to the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed belong to us and our children forever, that we might do all the words of this law. The secret thing belongs to the Lord, and he releases it unto us. We're going to pray, Father, release into my life secrets to succeed this year. The things I need to do, the steps I need to take, the decisions I need to take, the investments I need to take, the investment I do not have to go into this year for me to succeed. Father, reveal them on to me in the name of Jesus. Open my eyes, open my ears of understanding, Lord, to Father, to understand the secrets of my success this year, to assess them from you this year in the name of Jesus, Father. Open my eyes of understanding, open my ears to hear, open my heart to the sun, Lord, the secrets of success for me this year. Father, release them unto me this year in the name of Jesus. Oh, I receive the discerning mind, I receive the discerning spirit, Lord, to be able to see them when you have released them unto me, the secrets of success, when you tell me to take the step, the grace to take the step this year. I release them in the name of Jesus. The secret things. Father, Lord, of my success. Secret of my success. I receive the grace, Lord, to step into them. I receive the grace to step into them. I receive the grace to walk in them by your mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, reconstruct and reposition me for uncommon success and breakthroughs this year. Father, reconstruct and reposition me. Some of us are where we are. We are stranded because God has given us instruction. Move forward. God told Moses, why are you still standing here? Why are you waiting? Go forward. And he told him, stretch out your rod because God has a plan. Sometimes we think we are stranded, but we are not stranded. We did not ask God for the next step. That's why we are stranded there. We're going to pray, Father. Reconstruct and reposition me for uncommon success and breakthroughs this year in Jesus' name. Father, reconstruct and reposition me for uncommon success and breakthroughs this year in the name of Jesus. Father, reconstruct me, Lord. Reposition me and my family for uncommon success and breakthroughs this year in the name of Jesus. We still have many days in this year. We still have many months in this year. Father, the, the time that remains in this year is too much for you to do a miracle. It's too much for you to turn our story around. Father, reconstruct and reposition us, Lord, for breakthrough this year in the name of Jesus, Father. Reconstruct and reposition us for breakthrough this year by your mercy, Lord. Reconstruct and reposition us for breakthrough this year. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amos 9 11 says, on that day, I will raise up the tabernacle of David, which has fallen down, and repair its damages. I will raise up its ruins and rebuild it as in the days of old. We're going to pray. Father, Lord, rebuild me in any way I've broken down, in any way my life has broken down, in any way my mind has broken down. Father, rebuild me. Rebuild me, oh Lord. He says, I will rebuild them. I will raise them up. When they are falling down, some of us are falling down. Some of us are discouraged. Some of us are sad. Some of us are depressed. We're going to pray. Father, you have made your promise. You will say, you said you will repair his damages. Is there our heart that is damaged? Is there our bank account that is damaged? Is there our career that is damaged? Whatever it is that is damaged, Father, Lord God Almighty, Lord, you will raise up my ruins. You will repair me, Lord. You will rebuild my life. You will rebuild my family. You will rebuild my children. According to your word in Amos 9 verse 11, you said you will raise us up again. You will repair us, Lord. Father, repair me, Lord. Rebuild me, Lord. In those places, I have been damaged. In those places, I have been discouraged. In those places, I have been shattered. Father, rebuild me, Lord. By your mercy, rebuild me. Rebuild my family. Rebuild my children. Rebuild my 
my home, those marriages that has been shattered. Father, rebuild it by your mercy. Rebuild it by your mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, use uncommon method and techniques to move me forward this year in Jesus' name. Father, use uncommon method and techniques to move me forward this year. Father, use uncommon method and techniques to move my family forward this year. Use uncommon method and techniques to move us forward this year. In the name of Jesus, Father, use uncommon method and techniques to move us, move us forward this year by your mercy. Father, use uncommon method and techniques to move us forward this year by your mercy. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, we thank you for the grace you have given us to come to your presence once again. Thank you because you are a faithful Father. Thank you, Lord, for all you've done for us. Blessed be thy name in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for you have revived us. Thank you because you have strengthened us. Thank you because you have shielded us from every attack of the enemy. And we trust you, Lord, that this year as we go forward, we shall excel more than ever before in Jesus' name. Father, we bless your name for your faithful God. Blessed be thy name. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me to pray, brethren. See you next time. Bye.